How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our AFK Ank Charm series. In this episode we're going to farm the last piece of our Ank Charm which is the Adhesive Bandage. In the last episode we got the Armor Polish and the Vitamins from our Underground Corruption Trap. I've made an Obsidian Skull off camera so all we need to do is get this Adhesive Bandage. And I've added a little bonus to this trap, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so here you can see the farm in action. And I realised when I went to uh, make this farm for the adhesive bandages, and it's the angler fish that we're after, by the way. I realised when I went to make it, I built something similar before as a soul of light farm. And you use jungle bricks to get the arapaimas to swim up to you rapidly. Um, luckily, uh, they spawn anglerfish too, so I could reuse that design. Although I thought, that's a bit easy, so I wanted to add something to it for you. So what I've done is I've added ice blocks and I've hallowed them. And as you can see from our loot chest, and you know I love to put loot chests near the traps, uh, we get the adhesive bandages and quite a lot of them by the way. It adds some really great hard mode frost stuff. Uh, like the frost brands. Uh, you also get the flowers of frost, which is an awesome magic weapon. You get the robot hat, which is pretty cool, uh, which dropped from the uh, anglerfish, I believe. And tons of banners and frozen key molds too, which is pretty cool. So it actually drops quite a lot of gear. It rarely spawns mimics. Um, so yeah. Anyway, the designs are pretty simple. It's just a heap of water. So you either need to make a, a lot of buckets or drain an ocean. So either is a possibility. Uh, depth wise, we're at about 500 feet or 546. And as you can see, they've got the frost mobs which occasionally walk along the path and drop in. One thing I wanted to point out is you can get the really rare turtle shells with this trap too. Uh, a few of you have asked how to farm them, so this was actually a really successful way of doing that. So let's jump out for a second and have a look at the actual trap itself. So it's just about 80 blocks long of hallowed ice, um, and you can use the clen clentaminator to do that. Um, or just plant one uh, pearlstone brick and it'll eventually, uh, pearlstone stone and it'll eventually corrupt or hallow all the blocks. And then underneath, I'll just jump into the water. Um, it's just about 45, 50 blocks deep. And I've just put a jungle edge around it just to make sure uh, that actual jungle mobs are spawning. And keep running along. And then it's just hello to ice and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the reason I have dart traps, and they're only basic ones so they're easy to get, uh, occasionally mimics spawn, very rarely, and you want to be making sure that the mimics actually get moving. And you can achieve that by a single dart trap. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. I tried it with corruption ice, but one thing to note guys is that it spawns those clinger things. And as you would have seen in our last trap, they're a bit annoying and they're stationary. So you have to do a bit of work with dart uh, spear traps and stuff to kill them off. Alright, so what we're going to do is actually take one of these adhesive bandages and we're going to go right now and craft our ink shield. Let's do this guys. Alrighty, I've just teleported back to our base and this farm's been made in our ultimate world so thanks to the people that have downloaded the map to try it out. Okay, so we have every accessory AFK farmed. Uh, the cobalt shield you do have to get from the dungeon. Uh, you can just make a new world for that if you don't have one yet. And obsidian skulls are just made with 16 obsidian, I think. So they're not difficult to make. So let's loot all and start building this awesome item. So the first thing you need to do is add a goblin's crafting bench, which, or tinker's station, I believe it's called. Yep, a tinker's workshop is actually stand near it, click the crafting window, and here's all the extra things we can make. So we need to make the obsidian shield, the armor bracing, which is made from the armor polish, and I can't remember the other one, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, the medicated bandage out of the bezel and adhesive bandage. We need the plan from the fast clock and the trifold map, 
and the counter curse mantra from the megaphone and that evil nazar that is hard to farm. When you put that all back, the ank charm becomes available, which uses all those five items that we've made, and the blindfold is just by itself. And then, once we've made the ank charm, we finally are able to make the ank shield, which needs the obsidian shield and the ank charm. And we finally have it, the ank charm, after all that farming, guys. It is a difficult item to get, but the immunity to debuffs and the immunity to all of the um, all of the uh, curses and debuffs you can get is well worth it. Uh, so wear it with pride once you've got it. It's a great item, and you can actually enhance it with the Goblin Tinkler. Tinkler? <laughs> yes, the Goblin <laughs> Goblin Tinkler. I'm tongue-tied now. So yeah, just make your way to the Goblin. Have a chat to him and reforge it and have a bit of fun with it. So, let's see. It depends what you want to get on it. If you're going for crits, melee speed, movement, you can get quite a few different things. It seems 12 gold is the best one. So 12 means you've got something good. So let's take damage. And that's it. A uh, big thank you to everyone who's been watching this AFK Ank Charm series. I've really enjoyed bringing it to you. If you've got any suggestions for things to farm next in Terraria, please leave a comment below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this series and subscribe if you haven't joined us yet, guys. We've got a giveaway coming up at 2,000 subs. I'm excited to do it. I can't wait to get started. Thanks for watching. This is Happy Days signing out. And oh, wait, uh, Aaron White asked me for a shout out. He said, do you, can, can I get a shout out? And I said, okay. And I said to him, have you watched uh, Honest Trailers? And I said, well, why don't... I said to him, what do you want me to say? And he said, oh, I don't know. And I said, okay, let's do an Honest Trailer one. So he told me to say, and you stay classy, Terraria. So that's his comment from Aaron White to you. So stay classy out there in Terraria land, and I'll see you next time. Happy day, signing out. Mm -hmm.